Mana. A happy whisper uh, while of all of that commotion was happening though. It is going to be Lau who is going to come in and now the rotations immediately coming in. Phoenix does come in, would be able to provide him with a little bit of slows. The 8th attempt and coming on to Lal. And now it is going to be, well, the sentry ward which has been already placed. Lal falling low on HP. And he just came back to the lane to a disastrous start for Lal in the mid in the mid lane wherein he will not have a teleportation when he spawns. And will have to make a big walk of shame back, uh, well, back to his mid at tier 1 tower is only sitting at level 3 at the moment compared to 9 who has already reached level 4 well on his way to getting his level 5 so the starting phases for uh, 9 has been pretty incredible when the sitting movement at have to be commended down. net worth currently when it could have been a lot more but the tornado EMP is going to connect but level 6 already achieved on a 9 and they would be able to get another kill on Lal dude that making the life of this invoker completely miserable in the mid lane. They would be able to get a return kill onto the enchantress in the top area of the map, wherein it was uh, the Muerta who was able to come in and pick that kill for herself. But again, um, a lot of momentum. Three OG heroes making the rotation, making life of Lal more miserable. It is going to be the dust which has already been committed and they would be able to chase him down. Fourth kill for the invoker in the mid lane they would also be able to make sure that they are able to bring down this mid tier one by the looks of it and team spirit are just going to be backing away from the area altogether and x nova as a hero can soak up a lot of damage in our regard roshan was being attempted by og there is a nice two-man rp being committed a lot of damage done sender has been committed by the terror blade the ages was picked up by Mikoshka, so the ages would not be available Beastmaster does take a temple now. It is going to be uh, the Mopling show. He is chasing after 23 Savage at the moment, who is currently feared in the hands of Satanic. Satanic should be able to, with the, with the help of invisibility, is actually kiting these heroes. They would be able to finish off uh, the Muerta in the process. But X Nova is the big carry. X Nova is dishing out the damage. Are you going to survive? There is still the vision coming in from the ancient black dragon, wherein they would be able to catch Lal one more time. And the uh, well, one Satanic does come in, get a kill onto uh, the poor enchantress. X Nova is dead, but they are going to be chasing after Satanic. Not in any threat of dying. Does have waveform available in case if he wants to get away from the damage. Of course, there is no center on the Terror Blade, so he will be backing away. All of all said and, and done, Miposhka was, was there. They do have metamorphosis back online. And in case they are able to actually I see the morphling, are they able to get the stun? They, the white spirit does come in with the eighth amendment, but no, too slippery, too slippery. And Satanic is able to walk away from the engagement. So smoke not really working for the side of OG. Uh, but again, they would be able to get nothing in that area. So they will have to walk back empty handed. Not getting a kill there. Satanic was able to survive in return. They are going to be losing a big kill. 7x kill streak going in the hands of Malik for themselves in the past couple of minutes. Now we are looking at more engagement happening. Terrorblade is a hero who has been gone upon literally out of mana at the moment. There is a well, uh, the RP connecting on to the Terrorblade. 23 Savage is down and the team fight is over. Uh, Satanic comes in with the dominating tree, is able to finish off X Nova. Whisper is going to die. Uh, Whisper is definitely dead. What about the rest of the heroes? Are they going to escape? Ari is going to escape along with Nine as well, who has already moved on to the top area of the map. Fusions All said and done. Team Spirit. Uh, the Fortify will have to be committed. Uh, they would be able to go ahead and secure their tier 3 tower. But in return, they might as well get the Ages of Immortal. All of the heroes from the side of Team Spirit are waiting for any heroes from OG to sh show up. Though it is going to be trade in terms of racks for the ages. And who is going to be happy? I think Team Spirit are the happy over too. Nice RP coming in. They were able to get the damage on the RP onto the Void Spirit. Nine is dead. And by the looks of it, it is going to be a adaptive strike. That, that did the damage. That, that really hit the mark. Uh, now he does not have any BKB to work with, is of course dead just like that. It is a roll being committed by Whisper, we're on to the egg is dead and uh, Whisper is dead. Who else is dead? Uh, there was, um, um, yeah this is game, this game is just over. OG really does not stand a chance anymore. Yeah that, that, that escalated quite, that quite frequently. Root did give us a good tip to Lal who did face a lot of uh, hate in the initial stages of the game from OG. Uh, but now, uh, as we are looking at it, uh, it's still at the bottom of the net worth in terms of all of the cores, but the tier 4 towers are being assaulted. No buybacks as such on the side of OG are there.
Uh, no, no buybacks, and it is the second tier four tower which is being pushed on by Satanic, but they are going to back away. Uh, they have already achieved more than what they have come. They had come for. They are in on the, the side of Team Spirit already with base already. And what is stopping Satanic? What exactly is stopping Satanic from doing whatever he wants? In fact, they're just going to ignore Satanic. Go for the back lines. Are they able to do anything? So a two-man RP connecting in. A nice skewer. And with the Haunt Toss, the damage is done and the GG is called. GG is called. Call it. <laughs> uh, anyways, OG with a disastrous team fight. They have already lost four heroes and they eventually called GG. Yeah. The game was over uh, when uh, Satanic got online. And they lost a couple of fights in the mid area of the map. Eventually, it is going to be Team Spirit who are going to be victorious against OG. And uh, they are going to be still winless in this tournament as yet. So not a great showing from OG one more time. Though did, they did have a very promising start to this game. But by the time it uh, reached about, say, the 